Hey guys, the Guitar Rabbi here. And uh, I'm over here with my buddy Mains, by the way. Hold on, you wanna meet Mains? Yeah, there's yeah, there's Mr. Mains, my little sidekick. <laughs> anyway, um, the Positive Grid Spark, I've had a, I got a comment about running it into the audio interface and some people have had their um, spark or their, uh, their, their spark break on them. Okay, here's the reason. And I should have said this in my original video on this. Do not run it in there if you're running phantom power. Okay? If you're doing it from the auxiliary to the XLR and not running phantom power, you will be fine. However, if you're running phantom power, you are definitely at risk of breaking your positive grid spark. The same is true with running phantom power into a microphone such as the one I use, the Shure SM7B. Um, I have to use a fed head, okay? In case I accidentally hit phantom power on there, it will not uh, damage the, the uh, Shure SM7B in any way. Instead, it'll give me like an extra um, 25 dB of, of uh, output. But however, with this, you don't have that. So make sure that you don't have phantom power on, okay? That is crucial.